Hello guys, this is London, England and you're watching. As you can see, it's a very foggy autumn day here outside and it's very cold as well. So we're gonna do this video inside. We're gonna navigate the map of London and learn some English with my good friend, Rob Willis. So come on. What are we going to do here? We're going to show you London. This is the map of London, this is the main bit of the city. The first thing that like pops pops out? The river, the River Thames. And that divides London in two, right? Mm -hmm. North and south. The main points, the most famous bits are all north. My dad is from, definitely from North the River. Uh, his view of the South the River is that it's basically France. Good. So the second thing that stands out are the green bits. Yeah, the parks of London, the famous parks. The biggest part you'd have to say is Hyde Park. It's absolutely enormous. It takes you right from Queensway all the way up to Marble Arch and then off the street where you've got the shopping. The second biggest part is Regent's Park. Regent's Park, exactly. Victoria Park looks very big. My favourite part though is Greenwich Park, South London. It's great. Yeah, that is where the timeline um, goes through. Meridian? Meridian, exactly. What are those numbers and letters? These like? are postcodes. Everywhere in London, everywhere in Britain has a postcode. Um, like in Brazil, you just have numbers. In most countries, it would just be uh, numbers. But in Britain, we have a number of letters followed by numbers. The most famous areas of London can be identified with a, a postal. The City of London EC3, uh, W11, where I'm from, was only made famous because of the film Notting Hill Gate. Um, W1, the West End, and so on. Wimbledon is quite famous. People refer, refer to Wimbledon as, as W18. Or... Yeah. So now it's... Pronunciation test! We're going to test your pronunciation. Let's take a little journey through London. Pick some places. Let's have a go at pronouncing right here. Mm -hmm. H-O-L-B-O-R-N. That would be Holborn. Holborn, yeah. Is that right? Almost. Pretty good, pretty good. I've heard Holborn, I've heard Holborn. It's Holborn. Number two, just south the river, we've got this place. The... What? Borough. 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 Gives everyone a bit of a, a tough one. Take it. Barra. Barra. Imagine it's spelled B U R R A. Next one. Okay, next to that. That one is tricky. It's Southwark, I think. Southwark, yeah. Southwark. Southwark. It looks like South Walk. It looks like two words, but no, because it's English, we have to make it more complicated. Do you think when Americans or Australians come to London, they would pronounce that? They would say South Walk. Okay, because it makes sense, right? Yeah. So we wouldn't make fun of people if they say South Walk. Oh, we would, but... <laughs> Look, it's pretty funny when Americans mispronounce British place names, and it feels like a little bit of a shame to do this. Okay, next one. Okay. Simple one. Peckham. Peckham. It's written Peckham, but it's Peckham. The H can disappear. If it's the last three letters in a, word, in a name, then generally you won't pronounce it. So it happens with Clapham, Clapham, Fulham, Buckingham, Buckingham, Lucian, Lucian, Vauxhall, Vauxhall. But it would happen in the case of West Ham, because they're the two separate words. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about this place here. East Dulwich. Almost. Yeah. East Dulwich. Same sort of thing here. Mm. Greenwich. Spot on. Okay, this is Dulwich. However, Dulwich. there's an area of London called Aldwich. Aldwich, yeah. In that case, you would pronounce it W. You would. So this is very confusing. It is very confusing. I don't think there's a hard or fast rule. I think with a lot of pronunciation in English, you just have to learn it. But the good news is, people, they're going to know what you're talking about. If you say dull witch, people are going to know. Black top, I 
Thanks, man. Thank you. It's been Thank a great you. pleasure showing you around my city. Has it? It has. Good. Thank you. Thanks for having me in this horrible British day. Let's get inside. Put the kettle on. Have some tea. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> Pronunciation time. Pronunciation test. <laughs> Pronunciation test. No, that's ridiculous.